Okay, so you have to admit it. That video that I just played for you had to have gotten you excited about your upcoming travel or possibly planning travel in the future. I know when I watched the video for the first time this morning, it really made me smile because it reminded me that I've got, what, four cruises on the books that are booked between September and December of this year. So it really made me excited for myself, but it also made me excited because it's just a good video and, and thinking about all the uh, the great customers that we have that are already booked, you know, for 2022, 2023, and now we're getting into bookings into 2024. So I just thought it was a great video reminding us that we need to get out there and explore the world. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Welcome, travel family. Danny here with Nationwide Cruises and Vacations, and you know what I love talking about. I love talking about all things travel, whether it's travel offers, travel news, or travel tips. And uh, if this is the first time that you are watching one of my travel videos, I want to welcome you to our travel family here at Nationwide Cruises and Vacations. So welcome, welcome. Okay, uh, so I played the new Princess uh, commercial that they're going to be airing on TV, or they've already started airing, I believe, on TV, and just how excited that it got me, and it, it made me think, you know what, maybe I need to do a refresher video on Princess Cruises and, you know, destinations where they, where they cruise to and where you can travel to and see the world, what... Australia, New Zealand, uh, Europe, uh, the Caribbean, Alaska, of course. Wow, do they go to Alaska with their uh, seven-night Alaska cruises. And then if you want, you can add on those uh, land packages as well with your Alaska cruise. And uh, don't forget about the Mexican Riviera. That is becoming a really uh, popular destination. Princess goes to the Mexican Riviera, you know, down to what, Cabo, uh, Mazatlan, Acapulco, some other ports, um, depending on the, you know, the number of nights and what night. So those are just a few of the destinations that that Princess goes to. And um, as I continue to think about Princess this morning and, and, and wanting to make sure that our, our customers are aware of Princess Cruises and what they offer, you know, um, many times we hear customers say, we don't want to do a cruise because we only like the all-inclusive vacations. We only want to go to Mexico or we want to go to the Caribbean because we can do an all inclusive vacation, you know, to those destinations. But here's something that you may not know is Princess, really, you can make this a true all-inclusive cruise vacation. And uh, I want to share with you how you can do that uh, with Princess. So let's talk about Princess and the different packages that they offer and how you can make this a true all-inclusive experience. Okay, so first, say if you are someone that you just want to go on a cruise, okay, and you want to go relax, you want to see shows, and uh, that's, you know, you want to have great food and, and enjoy a suite or a veranda stateroom, well, you can do this with Princess if you book what's called the Princess Standard Package. And with the Princess Standard Package, what is included, of course, it is your dining, your accommodations on the ship, and entertainment. Of course, your cruise port fees and taxes are going to be all included as well. What else is also included is the medallion experience. Now, if you are not aware of what the medallion experience is, uh, let me just tell you real briefly what it is, or hopefully I will tell you briefly what it is, because it is really, it's awesome. I got to experience it when I cruised on the brand new Enchanted Princess this year and really, really, really enjoyed having the medallion with me. Now, what the medallion is, it is this little gadget right here. And you will use this uh, 
for, for so many things on the ship. So you check in for your cruise way before uh, time to board. And at some point during the check-in process, you will be able to order your medallion and they will send it to you. So when you get to the port, you've already done all your online check-in. They scan this, they check your passport and your other documents, and they send you on to the ship. You're done. It is fan. Fantastic. I think it took us a less than 10 minutes to board the Enchanted Princess down in Fort Lauderdale when we sailed on it. So it was really great. So we checked in, we get to the gangway, they scan it again, we're on board the ship and they welcomed us with a glass of champagne. And so we took off to our room to drop off our luggage and you walk up to the door because you've got this on you as a lanyard or however you want to keep it with you. You walk up to the door and your door unlocks because you've got your medallion with you. Uh, say that you are poolside or you're at one of the lounges or you're in the theater, wherever you are, are on the ship, you want to order drinks. You go to the medallion app on your smartphone. You pick what you want, whether it's drinks or food and they will find you on the ship and bring it to you because you have got the medallion. So there's no more getting up out of your, your pool chair and going over to the bar and standing in line. You just order it for, from your app and they will bring whatever you've ordered that's available on the app because once again, you've got this medallion with you. You'll also use this, you know, when you get to your different ports of call around the world and you're going to get off the ship and go explore. Well, this is how they identify you when you're disembarking the ship. And then later in the day, when you come back to the ship, this is how they identify you as well. So it is really, really just a cool, cool little gadget to have. Okay. So now let's talk about how you can turn your Princess Cruise into an all-inclusive vacation. So I just told you about the Princess Standard Package, and please don't worry. Um, I may be going through this a little bit fast, and it's a lot of information. I will include a link in the description below so uh, you can open up a... Um, a PDF or whatever, and it will give you all the information on the different packages with Princess Cruises. So anyway, uh, Princess Plus, this is where you can really start making this a true all-inclusive cruise because it's going to include anything that I've told you about with the uh, Princess Standard, but you're also going to get what's called the Plus Beverage Package. And what that is, is you get up to 15 drinks per day that cost up to $12 per drink. So now your drinks are included up to $12 per drink. So beer, wine, liquor, I believe coffees, things like that, up to $12 are now included. Of course, you're gonna get Wi-Fi per person. And with the Princess Plus, uh, your crew appreciation is also included. Now, if you're not familiar with the crew appreciation, what that is, is it's a new name for gratuities. And I love that Princess has renamed it to uh, Crew Appreciation, the gratuities, because, you know, this is where you, you would normally tip your cabin steward and your main dining room staff. Well, now it's all included and you don't have to worry about it. So now you really have an all-inclusive vacation experience. Okay, so next we've talked about Princess Standard, Princess Plus. So if you are someone that maybe likes some um, different liquors, different beers or different wines, um, you can take advantage of what's called Princess Premier. With Princess Premier, you have everything that's included in the Princess Standard and the Princess Plus. But with Princess Premier package, your beverage package uh, that's included in that is uh, it, it's going to include drinks up to $18 uh, per serving on the beverages. So you can take advantage of some of those really higher end liquors and beers and wines as long as it's up to $18 per serving. Uh, of course, it is still capped at what 15 drinks per day. You're still going to have the Wi-Fi with the Princess Premier, the crew appreciation, your gratuities. But then what's also going to be included um, is uh, specialty dining. You know, there's the Italian restaurant, the, the steakhouse, and then depending on the ship, 
You may have other specialty dining options that are at an upcharge. So with the Princess Plus, um, you're going to get two of those specialty dining restaurants included as well. But what's also included with Princess Premier is a photo package. Who doesn't want memories of your cruise vacation? So you will have the, uh, the photo package included as well in the Princess Premier. And then I believe there's something called the Princess Prizes. I have not gotten into that yet. I don't know exactly what it is, but uh, I will try to include it in the description below once I read up just a little bit more on that. You know, I hope this quick video, or I hope, hoped was going to be a quick video, um, about Princess Cruises and how you can make this a truly all-inclusive cruise experience. You can go see the world, you know, uh, unpack once you're on the ship for however many days to destinations around the world. Um, I just, I love that some of the cruise lines are doing this now and, and making cruises and all inclusive. So you can really get out and explore the world. Now, something that I don't want you to forget about with most, and I say most Princess Cruises, uh, and depending on what type of stateroom you're booking and the number of nights you're booking, well, we may throw in some perks for you as well, whether it's onboard credit. And of course, if those, uh, those of you that are booking those really great suites on, uh, on Princess will probably include some additional um, specialty dining for you. So depending on the ship, and all of that. So just keep in mind, we do throw perks in as well on so many of our cruise packages that we offer for our customers. Um, wow, I know that was a lot, and I hope you enjoyed this today. And, um, you know, bef before I leave you today, just a couple of things here. Um, if you are not um, on our Facebook fan page, I will include a link to that as well in the description below. And, uh, you know, if you like this and you want to stay up to date with all things travel, travel offers, travel news, travel tips, do me a big favor. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button and give me a, a like that you like this video because I am going to be bringing you more travel updates in the near future. Oh, and, and one more thing, the love boat, the love boat, the love boat. Who, who cannot forget about the love boat every Saturday night back in what, the 80s, I think it was on? Well, guess what? October 5th. Uh, what is being called the Real Love Boat, I believe, is coming back again. And it's, it starts on October 5th, as I mentioned. And uh, on CBS, I think that's Wednesday nights that it's going to be on. So check that out as well. Maybe we'll do some, some live chats on our uh, Facebook fan page as well. Anyway, for now, I am going to say bon voyage. And I look forward to seeing you back for more travel updates in the very new future. Have a great day, my travel family. See you soon. Arms to the ground Far from the river Grace in our tears High on a fever Ooh. I'm reaching closer The stars that love me Memory.